He and his education minister, Debbie Schaefer, have arrived at the Brackenfell High uh, School for a meeting with the school management. I want to bring in our reporter, uh, Corbin August, who's covering this for us. Corbin, a very good morning to you. What are you witnessing there? Good day to you. Yes, we are coming to you live from outside Brackenfell High School. Uh, the situation today is much calmer than it was yesterday. Of course, yesterday this was the scene of violent clashes between EFF supporters and parents uh, at the school. And what brought about the visit of the Premier and the MEC for Education today, they came because they came to investigate the incident and what occurred here outside the school yesterday. Uh, Following the meeting that they had with the school, the it, Premier said that they do not condone any sort of violence and what happened yesterday outside the school was absolutely unacceptable. Uh, they have now called for an urgent investigation into the matter and the MEC uh, says she'll also be looking into what actually caused uh, the, the, the clashes outside because what... According to the EFF, the reason they protested was because of a private function, a private metric e event that was hosted by a private group of individuals. And at this stage, the school has distanced themselves from any sort of event. And they, they also distanced themselves from any form of racism. Right. Corbin, uh, you so say... Far, we've also had some other parties who have arrived today at the scene. Right, Corbin, you say that things are much calmer uh, this yes, morning. Ma Just uh, describe for us what you're seeing. I see uh, a police vehicle behind you. Talk to us about police presence in the area. Yes, well, the police have been uh, monitoring the situation since early this morning. They've been keeping a close eye on all the events that are happening. We, they've been expecting the EFF to show up, but as of yet, the EFF haven't showed up yet. There was uh, one or two other political parties, the ANC, Solani Sotashi, he showed up just to come and uh, say a few words. And what he also said was that we shouldn't uh, politicize the matter. He says that it should be about the kids and the, the kids, the children at the moment, those are the most important people. We, where we are standing at the moment, it's just a few meters down from the entrance of the school and we have um, some of the parents and some of the uh, residents here in the area who have been uh, standing and just watching proceedings as well, just monitoring the situation throughout the course of the day. Yeah. And so far it's just been uh, quite peaceful today. So not quite the clashes that we were expecting to see again today. So matric exams continuing? With, it's not being affected in any way? Yes. All right. Uh, no, not at this stage. The matric exams are indeed continuing. Right. And when asked uh, if they were considering changing the, uh, the school, uh, cha moving the matrix to an alternate venue to write if the clashes were to continue, the MEC for Education, Debbie Schaefer, said they were not going to be considering that at this stage. But they haven't ruled it out yet. All right, Corbin, thank you very much indeed for your reporting. Come back to us if there's any further developments. We'll get you on air, get the view of the very, very latest from there, from the Western Cape. Corbin, always there reporting.